Hi everyone, it's Niall from AmstradNoob.com and today we're going to take a look at this Just CPC2 motherboard from Peter Bagage, otherwise known as Zaxum. But what is it? Okay, let's take a look. Well, inside the box came the motherboard itself. And it's pre-populated with uh, loads of chips, as you can see. Um, I believe this, this one here is the Digi Blaster. Could also be some extra RAM or ROM. We've got a Z80 chip there, and we've got an Amstrad 40010 ULA chip here. And if you read my blog post about that, uh, there was some scandal kicked up in some wiki post. Um, and actually, this one could be a fake, one of those fake chips. Who knows? It could be a recycled chip. I don't know. But... Yeah, there was a lot of talk about that specific chip. Here we have uh, two connectors for the CPC 464 keyboard. Uh, the membranes, you just plug them in there and that will give you access to um, type in commands onto the Just CPC 2 motherboard. We've got two switches here, which are explained in my blog post. The first one enables or disables the uh, built-in um, ROM manager to give you access to all the ROMs. And the other one enables or disables write access to the uh, to that. Uh, we also have a reset switch over here, and we've got a standard three and a half inch, three and a half millimeter, I should say. Um, audio cable, audio connector there, and some joystick port. I think that's the FDC uh, floppy disk drive uh, expansion connector. And this is the standard connector here for connecting stuff like uh, Dantonator or whatever. And we've got a whole bunch of RAM in this. This is basically the equivalent of a 6128. So why don't we... Oh, one other thing. Here we have video in and we have five volt power in. So we've got a video um, connector here. It's not a standard connector that you have with um, any of your CPCs. It's smaller. I think that's S video, not exactly sure. But this cable here, which comes with the, the board, this cable, it's scart on one end, as you can see here. And it's like an S video or whatever on the other. And you need to plug that into something like I have here, which I've blogged about also. And that will give you access to uh, display it on an LCD. So let's do that. But before I do one other thing I'm going to point out, and that is this, this little jumper here. I think it's the first and the third pins that are jumpered. And what that means is that when you connect power and when you connect video, um, you will see the device power on on your LCD or external monitor. So let's give it a go and see how that all looks. Okay, so I've moved the um, camera back a little bit. so. You can see the LCD, the uh, adapter, and uh, how we connect it all up. So let's plug in this, what I think is an S-Video cable into here. And there it's connected. And then we need power. So we're going to take that from this. But I also need to disconnect 
my SCART, which I use for my normal 464. I'll plug in this one that came with just CPC2. So we need five volts. As you can see, I don't have any keyboard connected to the CPC at this, just CPC2 at this point. Um, I just want to see it power on here and see how that looks. So let's give it some power. And there you have it. So what it says is Amstrad 128K microcomputer version three. So like I said, it's basically like a 6128. Let's take this one out of the way. It's basically like a 6128. Um, and in the particular uh, switch arrangement here, this first one, uh, if it's switched to the left, you will see the spring ROM manager appear. So let's just power this off and on again, and I'll show you that. We'll disconnect the five volts. I'll flip the first switch, that's that one there. And then we're gonna plug in our five volts. And now we should see the Roman 2.0 uh, message on boot up. And basically what that means is it gives you access to a ROM manager um, where you can add or remove up to 30, 32 ROMs on the Just CPC 2. And that's quite incredible. So 32 16K ROMs. And remember, this also has, I think, 576K of RAM. So it's 512K of ROM that you can add using the ROM manager and 576K of RAM where you can run things like uh, SymbOS and, and so forth. So now we can see that it works. Um, it looks like a Amstrad CPC 6128, but we can't do anything because we don't have any keyboard connected. I wish, I wish, I wish that there was a version of this board with a USB connector so we could plug in a standard USB keyboard. Please, Peter, if you're watching this video, please consider that in a later revision. I'd be very happy to be able to do that. But um, the Just CPC 2 isn't designed for that. It is actually designed for you to connect up a CPC 464 keyboard using the membranes and plug it into here, right? So let's, let's do that. So, my screw is just falling down. But anyway, here is the part that we need. It's the keyboard unit. There's also the tape deck, but we don't need that part at all. What we do need is this part in order to type commands onto that and get it into our Just CPC 2. So let's try it out. Right. So let's see. It is plugged in, and let's try power. All right, I'm typing. So, at this point, as you can see, I'm typing, pressing enter. All that works, but what you can see is the light is not showing. All right, the red LED there. To fix that. Disconnect this here, this jumper, and plug in uh, this cable. So let's do that. I can now turn on and off this CPC 464, and I get 
my LED, my power LED, and I can type. Okay, so to access the ROM manager, Okay, so this is exactly what I wanted to type, Roman. And what it's, it, this is basically the Roman or the ROM manager by uh, Spring. And it basically allows you to add or remove up to 32 ROMs, as I said earlier, uh, on the Just CPC2 board. So basically, you would just go through here and pick an empty slot and upload, install uh, or uninstall a ROM. And it should be as easy as that. And I can see that there is a CPM ROM there. I wonder, does that mean we have access to the CPM commands? That would be interesting. Let's see, how do we get out of here? Quit, okay, let's try CPM. And again, I don't know what's going on there. Now, okay, there's one thing I will say. This is not how uh, your Just CPC 2 should be laid out. Basically, you should have the keyboard, motherboard, the motherboard uh, plonked into the base unit of a CPC 464 properly. Uh, one like this. Take out this motherboard, put in the Just CPC 2 motherboard, right? But you might have to put one or two additional holes, actually three, one for the reset uh, switch or button and one for the ROM, uh, the R Roman and manager and one for the right protect for the, the, the ROMs. So you, you're going to need to put in two, three additional holes into this part of the, the uh, case. And I don't like doing that. So I haven't done it yet. Um, because I don't want to, I don't want to modify genuine CPC hardware in that in that respect. I, I'm I'm thinking about okay, how best to deal with this moving forward. So we'll return to it in another video. But basically, the Just CPC two board should sit uh, on this base so that it replaces the uh, four six four motherboard. Right. So maybe that's the reason why I'm not able to do my pipe commands. I don't know. I had it there a minute ago. I'm sure someone will tell me I'm doing something wrong. And ah, there we go. See that? I mean, no explanation about why it sometimes works. Okay, so what I wanted to try here was CPM. Just to see. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Ignore, ignore, ignore. So it looks like it's trying to read the CPM disk. Hmm. So it seems that it has capabilities built in, additional ROMs, and of course you could add more, much like you can do with an, an M4 board. So, right, that's cool. But what else can we do with it? Well, let's pull out a Dandinator, and this is a CPC Dandinator Elite Plus, which I've uh, already done a video about and blogged about. And I love this piece of kit. It's awesome. So let's turn this off. And there we have the uh, Dandinator working. And it's connected to my CPC 464. But the motherboard is the Just CPC 2, right? So if we press 1, we should get this game here, which is actually, I think, my favorite game uh, on the Amstrad scene at the moment because the music is good and the graphics are very nice. I haven't really figured out the game yet, but I guess you have 77 
levels to get through. So I hope to complete it someday. I hope to complete even one level. Um, but it's cool. I like this game. So I'm going off point, but the point is with the Just CPC 2, you have the ability to connect different hardware. You have the ability to add up to 32 ROMs. You've got access to 576K of RAM and you can reset the device just like that, like I did. There's a reset button down here. Of course, there's a reset button on the Dandinator, but this is not about the Dandinator. So let's turn it off, disconnect the Dandinator and power it on again. Right. Who is the Just CPC 2 aimed at? I'm not really sure. Maybe it's aimed at people that have a 464, but the motherboard is dead, for example, or broken, or there are some several chips on the, uh, the motherboard that are, are failed. If that's the case, um, then this could be a very, very good upgrade for you because you've, you upgrade from 64K, of course, to 576K. You basically uh, get access to what is a uh, 6128, uh, but much better than a 6128. And it has something called a Digi Blaster built in. I don't know how to access that other than I think we have to download additional software, but that's something I have to look into. So that was a quick look at the Just CPC 2. I did blog about it. Please check out that blog post on amstradnoob.com. If you liked this video and want more like it, please give it a thumbs up uh, and comment. I'd appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.